So I'm sitting here in Houston, Texas with Corp Info's lead senior solutions architect, Laith Al Sadun. <laughs> Laith, what is big data? It's a practice of analyzing uh, large amounts of data that may come at you very fast uh, in different formats. We've had big data for a long time, actually, in the form of data warehouses. We've been doing that for a couple decades. In the modern uh, architecture these days, you have a lot of tools in your arsenal, things like Hadoop, uh, Spark, and so forth. So uh, that, that's really enabling us to analyze things that are coming at us, um, you know, gigabytes and terabytes per day in different formats from different, uh, different data sources. So Leif, tell me, how does a big data architect like yourself interface and provide value for data scientists? And the data scientist needs to have that data available to them in real time, in dashboards, in you know, BI tools, and, and notebooks, and so forth. So a big data architect will architect their, their notebook spaces, their, their pipelines for them to get that data as fast as they need it uh, in, in a way that's reliable, in a way that's useful for them. So why is architecting for perfection with big data. Why is this important? So it's important because uh, these days you have uh, dozens of, you know, maybe even hundreds of different data sources. Having something, you know, and, and that just keeps on growing for businesses. They get different data sources. It's third-party market research data. They're relational databases. They're, uh, you know, they're, they're surveys, and, you know, even, even manual entry stuff that, that needs to get into a central kind of data lake. Uh, so that they can, so data scientists can access that and start start extracting um, business insights to make their organizations more data driven. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about, you know, what the cloud has done for big data, especially for small companies that now have access to tools that would have cost millions of dollars, mm -hmm. you know, even just five years ago. Right. So yeah, for for small to medium enterprises, uh, the cloud brings a lot of. Uh, new features and things that were not accessible to them before. Uh, the thing, things like Amazon S3, for example, where you have virtually unlimited storage at a high, at a very high durability, you can create kind of a data lake there where that you know gigabytes and terabytes would have cost you, you know, thousands of dollars to create and acquire that hardware and set that up and rack and stack. Now you can have that uh, at your fingertips in a matter of seconds or minutes. And even things like uh, big data processing, like Hadoop and Spark, uh, where you know it, you, you know you have to have all this commodity hardware to do that on premise or in data center, whereas now in the cloud, uh, you can you can spin up a Hadoop or Spark cluster in a matter of minutes.